So in the last video, what we talked about is how to install MathType. In this video, we will be talking about how to use MathType. And um, the way to use MathType is we go to Home, um, we click MathType right here. It opens up this panel, and once you click Open MathType, you open up this window. And so what we're gonna do is um, follow these um, or, or try to replicate what's written here. Um, these are screenshots from the uh, Mic one Echo lecture notes on the solved problems in I think page 102 of the lecture notes. And so uh, what we do here is um, we just try to um, replicate this um, sentence or this paragraph. So non-satiation requires that the individuals marginal utility of each good i i here is idolized but i could just do that um i don't i don't want autocorrect to mess it up uh, b positive ie ui is u sub i is equal to the partial derivative of u with respect to x sub i greater than zero so I'm gonna type that in math type because we need a math editor to um, insert that. So I press U sub I. So here I am in the general tab of math type, this first tab here. I go to the second row, um, the third column. I press, I, I see subscript. So I press subscript and then type I. And so we have U sub I is equal to partial derivative, right? So um, math type has all these tabs right here and um, each tab is a group of certain commands and um, one of them is the calculus tab and since this is a calculus course or um, this is a course that heavily relies on calculus this would be one of the tabs that you will use a lot. So here I actually find partial derivative so I click that. And um, what happens is I see this. Uh, I, I get the partial derivative of something with respect to something immediately. And so I just type U, I press down, I type X sub I. And to do X sub I, again, we go back to the general tab and press subscript and type I. And so now we have the partial derivative of U with respect to X sub I is greater than zero. And then I press insert. And so after I press insert, this equation would automatically be inserted here. It's that easy to use math type. Um, and then um, for the second part, we have for all x sub 1 greater than 0 and x sub 2 greater than 0. So I just type uh, for all x sub 1 greater than 0. So I open math type again. I go for x sub 1 greater than 0 insert and go to math type again x sub 2 greater than 0 insert and now I'll, I'll just fix the spacing here a bit there so now we've completed the first sentence of the answer to this question um, using math type to insert uh, equations mid-sentence and of course um, I'm, I'm gonna do this as well for the second sentence now now u sub i so u subscript i is equal to x subscript 2 greater than 0 insert and whoops that's not that's not i that's one u subscript one is equal to x subscript two greater than zero insert and u subscript two is equal to x subscript one greater than zero now if you will notice i keep clicking subscript instead of um, using keyboard shortcuts. But you can also use keyboard shortcuts if you're familiar with them. So for example, um, if I wanted to do shortcuts, I just press U, control down, two is equal to X, control down, 
one greater than zero and i don't have to my hands don't have to leave the keyboard to type this down anymore so press insert and then um i could just copy this here for all x sub one x sub two greater than zero which implies that i am non-satiated now this doesn't look half bad in fact it looks good um i've successfully copied or, or um, replicated whatever's written here using word and math type so next we go to the second example um, so here the question asks does this individual's preferences obey the law of diminishing marginal utility for each good and the answer is this here this right here is the answer and so i'm just gonna type that down diminishing marginal utility for each good i requires that uh, u sub i i is equal to the second order derivative of u with respect to x sub i so i open math type and i type u subscript i i is equal to um the second order partial derivative so i go back to the calculus tab and when i was looking for um when we're looking for the second order partial derivative right here um we actually can't see any second order partial derivatives here and um, clicking this twice doesn't really work so um, what I like to do is I go back to the general tab insert a fraction instead and then type a superscript to tell math type that I am going to insert a variable with a superscript um, and then go back to the calculus tab press partial differential and then press right so that I go to the superscript and press 2 and so now we have the second order difference the derivative partial derivatives second order partial derivative of u and then I press down um, with respect to x sub i press right and then superscript 2 now, um, this would be okay, but if you would notice, if you're pretty meticulous and OC, um, you would notice that 2 is not on the same column as i. 2 is way farther from x than i is, and um, that's just not visually appealing. In fact, if you highlight them, they're not in the same column at all. So I don't like this personally, but it's fine for some people. Um, so what I want to do is I go to... Um, the scripts and layout tab alt 6 right here and here we find superscript and subscript right here with the two green boxes to the right side and once I click this we see that X now has two boxes one on top and one on the bottom which are aligned so if I type I on the bottom box and two on the box on the top we see that two and I are now aligned and if I highlight them, they do look pretty aligned. And this is much more visually appealing than uh, what we got a while ago. And so now that I'm okay with this, I just press less than zero. And now I have this equation. And I can press insert, sure. But uh, what I want to, to emphasize here is um, that if I press insert, this equation is actually no longer editable. And that is a huge problem once you have a very complex equation with a lot of variables, lots of, lots of numbers, and um, you realize in the short run or in the, long, in the future that um, you actually made a mistake and you want to change the equation. It's, it's a really hassle to have to rewrite the whole equation again because uh, math type, once you press insert, turns the equation into an image. So this is no longer editable. So what I want to do, um, or, or what we can do to work around this, is actually to open math type. And uh, once you open math type, um, let's just type the equation. I'm just going to speed run this. It's equal to uh, partial, partial squared partial x. I to u less than oops less than zero okay so now that we've typed this down again um, what we want to do instead of pressing insert is to press um, control or command a 
to highlight everything control or command a and then control or command c afterwards to copy so we highlight everything and then we copy everything and then we go back to word we click word right here just click once and then we press control v or command v and so what this does is it copies the code onto word and it becomes an equation and here we can now edit each individual um, term or item in this equation so for example instead of x i wanted this to be y i could do that or, or j i could do that if i wanted uh j sub i to be j sub p i could also do that u sub double i um this could be pp um instead of u i wanted it to be v for example v um etc etc so greater than zero i could make it uh, greater than five or whatever so um if we follow the steps of copy pasting the equation rather than pressing insert then um the equation can now be editable in word and once i'm done i'm just gonna press cancel right here to close the window for math type um the beauty of math type you would see the beauty of math type is that actually everything is very intuitive um you don't have to memorize any commands unlike with latex or with uh, windows built in um equation editor in math type you could just um easily access the um i don't know what to call them um the operators i guess yeah, you could easily access these operators and um, they're not that hard to find um, in fact they're pretty easy to find and very intuitive as well they're grouped together um, and like for example um, this diminishing marginal rate of substitution right here so let me just copy that now diminishing marginal rate of substitution requires that dmrs with respect to x sub 1 and then we have this line here which um isn't that um, easy to find in word but is quite easy to find in math type so um let me just look for that right here so uh in math type i'm just gonna type um derivative right this isn't partial derivative since it's a d and not a partial sign so i'm just gonna press derivative right here derivative of mrs sub 1 2 with respect to x sub 1 and then i'm going to look for the line that i'm looking for to to do this thing here um so we'll just go here from symbols to arrow tabs it's not here either greek letters these are just variables so it's not here either um this doesn't seem to be the one i'm looking for either uh, this one doesn't seem to be that one also okay see here enclosed right so this one is what I'm looking for enclosed right it's in the decorations tab so I could just enclosed right whoops okay I want to highlight this before um, clicking enclosed right and so now we have this beautiful line to the right of our derivative um, and then we click general tab again subscript d u is equal to zero and so we have made this thing possible um an easier way to do this though i i remember is actually to go first to the decorations tab and then enclose right first before inserting your fraction d m r s sub one to d x sub one so that um you don't have to highlight d m r s anymore and then we go subscript du is equal to zero and then less than zero and instead of pressing insert i copy paste so that it's editable and then type for all x sub one greater than zero and x sub two greater than zero so the beauty of not closing or not pressing insert is that um for x sub 1 greater than 0, if you noticed, I just deleted the 1 and then uh, replaced it with a 2 and then copied it and pasted it here, which saves me a lot of time. 
Um, so I think that's it for how to use uh, math type. Um, yeah, even these very complex uh, or, or very long equations right here, not really complex. Um, they're pretty easy to replicate or to type in math type. And um, this is what I was talking about when I said downsides of pressing insert. Like, for example, um, this gets very confusing in the long run, especially if um, these terms aren't that simple. So um, what you want to do is to actually really have an editable equation rather than having it fixed as an image. Um, so the upside of math type is that you can click symbols, right? That was uh, what I was talking about a while ago. So you could click symbols. So for example, this variable right here, this is a Greek letter, um, I think sigma. Yeah, it's the Greek letter sigma. And if you were going to look for it in Word, um, it would be quite tedious because, um, like for example, if I go to Word, I wanted a, um, a symbol, I'd have to look through the symbol right here and it's pretty weird, I guess. Oh, there, it's here. Um, but in math type, um, everything's kind of um, labeled accordingly. They're grouped together. Um, arrows aren't um, mixed together with the variables, etc., etc. Et so um, if I wanted to type sigma, I could just go to um, math type right here, Greek letters and numbers tab, the fourth tab right here. And immediately I could see sigma. Um, I could see um, all the other Greek letters here, even English letters. Um, and script letters, etc., etc. Um, the downside of math type, though, is that um, I can't use shortcuts. So um, if I wanted to type sigma and I wanted to save time, I didn't want to use my mouth, m mouse to go to Greek letters and numbers tab. Um, I wouldn't be able to type sigma like this, unlike with LaTeX or like words editor. So um, math type is very um, intuitive for beginners who don't maybe don't memorize their Greek alphabet or um, are more comfortable with using their mice instead of memorizing codes. But if you're a person who um, likes memorizing codes instead, um, likes their hands not um, um, leaving their keyboard, just keep typing and typing and typing, then um, it would pay off to learn words built-in editor or maybe LaTeX as well. So that would be the end of this um, tutorial. I hope you have learned something on how to use math type and um, if math type actually suits your way of um, inserting equations into Word.